Hi everybody, um, I guess I'm just doing a little update. Um, the, my baby is around the corner and I'm here with my friend. You don't have to share your name, of course, but um, this is actually a, a new friend, a relatively new friend that I've only gotten to know in the last three months, really? Yeah. yeah since February. And so I just wanted to just give a huge shout out to so many women who have just been so generous to um, give me the milk of their breast milk or they've even tagged other people or they've shared somebody like you were a great example you didn't actually get approached by me and then why well, I just wanted to just put you on the spot yeah your baby's on the other end there so why did you why why do you actually um, donate breast milk in general um, well um my breastfeeding journey actually is a little interesting I started off with a massive oversupply and then I was saving some of it, or I was just dumping some of it even. Oh my god, I no. know, in the very beginning. And then I started saving all of it, and I found that about two and a half months into my baby's life, I, I lost a lot of my supply. And so instead of donating, which I was about to do at that point, I started using my whole stash, and I was actually in a position where... You might become the recipient. I of almost milk too. was thinking, okay, it's either formula or I'm going to need donated mm -hmm. breast milk. And so, but instead, I started pumping like mad, and I rebuilt my supply over the course of a few months. And at that point, it was super established. You generated, and I became the beneficiary of all that yeah, milk. Yeah, like I knew I wasn't going to have any yeah. problems uh, with supply, and I had this huge extra stash. So I thought to myself, like, I am not going to use this. And Give it to me. This is like gold for me. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to make that shout out. I've just been so pregnancy brain. Haha, I get to use that word. Is that I don't. Some of the women I can't even remember, and I just <laughs> <laughs> there's just so much going on. And so for me, I just I don't feel like breast milk is best only. I mean, it's just I, I do think it's quite good. <laughs> But um, <laughs> some people choose to do breast milk, some people do formula, and I'm trying to be exclusively breast milk for the first five, six, seven, That's eight months. Awesome. We'll see. That's I've got a really huge awesome. stash. Shout out to all the women who weren't able to provide me milk but been giving me some freezer space. Oh. And I just have some examples over at yeah. my friends. Um, so I just have some examples. I've just been going everywhere. So this one actually came from Edmonton. I live in Calgary, so this is stuff from um, really early on. Then I got some colostrum here, which is from someone who is um, one hour west of Red Deer. Oh, I've been running around wow. everywhere. Oh my god. Uh, and then of course, I think I see some of yours here yeah, too. Yeah, there's some of mine in the little bags. <laughs> for March 16th. <laughs> yeah, and I've just been researching that this milk can be kept for a relatively long time, depending on how you store it. Not just in a deep freezer, uh, not just in a fr mm. freezer like this, but also a freezer um, that's like a deep freeze. And I've just been very, uh, I've just been very informed that like, like I, I know you're a vegan. Yes. I was just thinking, oh my gosh, like my baby's not really vegan. Is it going to be okay? <laughs> and I know that some other women have say, oh, is it okay that my milk is, has some kind of medication that helps them stimulate more milk? Oh, yes. Um, and I just think like any milk is, for in my opinion, um, <laughs> I just think it's just amazing. I would take any milk. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I just thought I want to give a huge shout out. I'm collecting my stash and I just have... I think I have a few months going on now. I'm just so grateful and, and um, just so touched. I just feel like Aww. whatever that saying is, like the, um, it takes a village to raise a child or yeah. something like that. I just feel like it's it takes, for me as a single um, dad by choice, it's just something that I really can't. I actually did look into induced lactation, so I, you can, uh -huh. but the milk supply that I would he be He was able telling to. me about it. <laughs> Well, actually, that's another different check-in one day. I I actually did consult um, some of the uh, lactation consultants. Oh. And, like, apparently, I thought you could induce lactation without actually creating breasts, but I don't think I would like to add that oh. to my own identity. So, thanks to you guys, I don't need to develop my breasts. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, anyways, thanks for sharing. Yeah. And, um, it's been my pleasure. Like, it's, it's really awesome to know that your baby life force is going beyond just your baby too yeah and it's just yeah. been picking me in touch with people like you and just yeah so make sure i guess if you are watching this like thank you for for sharing to me thank you for sharing to other people there are people like in my situation or into parents or moms who can't um don't produce enough i think yeah. that's a huge shout out um 
Okay, so see you later. Bye. <laughs>